Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And I bet you're wondering, I know you're wondering, what happened to the fodder? Well, the fodder went amok. Uh, the last two days, out of nowhere, it started getting moldy. And uh, it was growing like grass and all thing, but it's like, ah, there's no way I'm giving that to a piggy. So it was a fail. Yes, it was a fail. But I was all right. So, uh, yeah, um, not sure if I'm that thrilled about fodder. Um, I don't see a real cost savings. Uh, there's plenty of things that we're doing to get the minerals and vitamins and stuff we want to get to the pigs. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sold that that's a process I want to do. However, times are changing. Yes, sir, re Bob. And uh, that means we're in September and uh, it's getting time to decide what we want to do for next year and what we don't want to do for next year. So, uh, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, I'm working my way to the piggies eventually. Um, we've decided to eliminate some of my processes because it's getting a little bit too, uh, too much to do. Uh, it's not so bad when we're not growing stuff which is going to come to a conclusion here pretty soon. Um, but, um, uh, gosh, when you, it's the hydroponics. <laughs> uh, you know how you try something, you really like it and stuff, and it was one of those things you just wanted to see if you could do it? Well, I feel like we did it. So I think our garden over here with the NFT hydroponics, I think we're going to shut the whole thing down. Um, we didn't think, didn't know, that our new conventional garden over there was going to do so darn well. So uh, it was capable of growing everything that we were, we were growing in the hydroponics as far as the NFT. Now, there's no way we're going to shut down hydroponics in the greenhouse over here. Um, that Dutch bucket system in the tomatoes is amazing. So that will continue. But I'm going to eliminate this this year. Um, just because it's too many processes for me to do every day. And we're actually thinking about shutting down the hydroponic part of this uh, um, uh, towers here and just going back to convert conventional dirt and turning that into flowers and uh, uh, not do uh, strawberries there anymore because strawberries were doing really, really good in conventional gardens too. So yeah, it's like, uh, uh, that's just uh, some process changes. This year, we've discovered a lot of things with the pigs and all that stuff that we need uh, We need some uh, infrastructure. So we're uh, thinking about one, uh, adding a couple more gates to our property so we have better access. Two is we're gonna have a barn built um, not a very big one, uh, attached to, um, not only, uh, do we want the barn, but we want to attach it to a couple more furling houses. Now we got one over here in the property now, but, uh, you saw what happened when we, uh, crossed over and more than one pig had ferals, we had a housing problem. So we definitely want to have one to two more ferling houses available in case we get a crossover and so uh yeah so we got some uh projects this winter some things to get rid of um this year um that were really fun to do but it's just taking too much time but in the meantime guys we'll talk more i get to feed some piggies well we got the uh, piggies all done watered up they're ready for siesta time. And uh, we're gonna go here and check on our chickens. Make sure uh, all the reservoirs are filled for the hydroponics in the uh, Dutch bucket system in the greenhouse. And then uh, we've got a lot of domestic duties to do after that. Yeah, I was uh, checking out chickens here. Everything's going good here. I'm in the greenhouse real quick. Uh, everything's growing like crazy. Uh, we did uh, have some uh, friends come over and 
Got them some tomatoes and some green beans. And uh, another thing we're gonna shut down this year is uh, floating rafts right here. Uh, they've been finding all that stuff, but once again, the conventional garden up front uh, worked just fine. And so I'm thinking about just taking all of this out. And if anything, I'll put an extra row of Dutch buckets through the center here so I can grow even more tomatoes next year. And uh, enough of this stuff. We're not gonna do beans and stuff like that in here anymore. Uh, I don't think. Um, because uh, there's just not a getting a, uh, they're not germinating well. So uh, anyway, ones outside did great. So yeah, we're gonna, and we're not gonna do the San Mazzinos anymore. Uh, they're just too tiny. So yeah, a lot of lessons learned. And uh, this is the time of year to kind of decide what we want to do for the following year. So uh, yeah, there's definitely a jungle in here. Good morning guys, it's the next day. And uh, it's uh, not a sparkling day in Central Oregon. In fact, last night we had quite the smoke coming through the area and it's definitely a smoky smell today. And uh, luckily it's nowhere near us, but the smoke definitely is traveling this way. So first thing I gotta do this morning, of course, is uh, ooh, check out some of my strawberries. Oh moly, I see some major strawberries here. That's, that's my breakfast. Look at this guy right here. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful looking strawberry. Actually, could probably use one more day, but there's a nice red one above it. So yeah, nice way to start the morning. Well, yesterday I, uh, gave a whole bunch of corn to uh, uh, the piggies here and things and uh, they were very happy but to, this morning we are going to get their normal foods and uh, they're all yelling at me like I was kind of working longer in the computer this morning than normal but uh, all is good so I'm going to get these guys fed and then catch up with you well guys, we got all the pigs fed. They're just filling up wallows and waterers right now. And uh, we'll soon be going over to Sparky's to get his uh, wallow refreshed. All the wallows over there are getting filled. So yeah, all the piggies are having fun. These guys have been having lots of fun playing in the mud right here. Hi guys. But, uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit, so they'll start slowing down. And uh, yeah, and uh, in the back, uh, we got a little place where they can get some solid food. And uh, so yeah, happy pigs. Yeah, not the piggies are all waiting for their waters to get filled up here. Uh, one of the other things we were talking about is uh, putting in a kind of a barn-like structure to handle uh, hay and feed uh, and installing it over here by the chicken coops in the greenhouse. Uh, so before I do that though, before I look at a contractor and stuff, I'm also going to go over and look at some sheds that are pre-built and uh, might be worth just going that route, um, a barn barn shaped kind of shed to uh, to do the job and save a lot of problems on some uh, Finding a contractor, that's one of the hard parts. And the uh, other part is uh, uh, whether I want to deal with a foundation and stuff like that. So, And I believe using those sheds, I don't have to deal with a permit. So anyway, uh, so we're going to go check out sheds today. Uh, but not until after I get these piggies done and then also get some of my chicken duties done and stuff like that. So once that's done, we're going to go to town and go check them out. Think maybe. Maybe. 
Well guys, I just got back uh, from town. Took a little trip to uh, Central Oregon Sheds. And uh, I'm really thinking that might be the route to go for what I need for storing hay and food. And uh, compared to uh, trying to get a contractor out here and etc., it might make sense. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, that's kind of the shape and I'm looking for and uh, so I talked to the guy I've met him before and uh, yeah it seems like it might be a good way to go so I think that might be the route I'll let you know more as we find out the other thing I just got home and discovered that our upright freezer is acting up and so I had to move a lot of stuff out of there to the other freezers because uh, it's an older freezer and I think it gets uh, frosted up and uh, so now I'm concerned of whether I can get that freezer going again or if I uh, need to replace it. So uh, when it rains, it pours, but uh, it's all workable. I caught most of the stuff in time, so uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up right here. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff that really helps us out. Uh, sharing our videos really is helpful if you would. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you. appreciate it. And uh, have a good day. Bye now. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available on Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.